Hey everyone, Irix guy here. Now, if you're a Mac user and you've got possibly some uh, network attached storage, also referred to as a NAS, NAS, on your network, which is basically a disk or collection of disks that are shared across your network by way of your uh, of your network connection. So, if you have that and you're wanting to use some of that network storage space, possibly to save your Final Cut Pro 10 projects. Maybe just other documents that you have on your Mac, and you want the uh, you want the network share location to appear the same as like a local drive. You know, maybe you plug in a thumb drive, maybe you plug in a USB drive, maybe it's a secondary internal hard drive. Whatever the case may be, by default, your network attached storage is not going to appear the same way within applications. So for me, the first thing I did is I looked at my devices here and as you can see I've got shared which shared will not appear within Final Cut Pro 10 but shared is my is my NAS and it's a one terabyte NAS so I just named it one terabyte NAS devices I've got two terabyte now the two terabyte device that's a USB connected device and that will appear within Final Cut Pro 10 etc but what I want to do is make my NAS appear as well. So to do that, the first step I'll do, I'll browse to Applications, and then I'll browse to Utilities folder. Now once you're in Utilities folder, go to Disk Utility. And I'm going to drag this off so it doesn't clutter things here. So once you're in Disk Utility, the first step that you'll want to perform is uh, click within Disk Utility where it says New Image. You can save this wherever. I'm going to save it on my desktop. You can name it whatever. I'm just going to name it NAS Final Cut Pro. Because that's what I'm using it for. It's network attached storage where I intend to save my Final Cut Pro 10 projects. And then likewise for name here, you need to name it. You can name it whatever. I'm just going to call it NAS Final Cut Pro. Size is important select size then select custom uh, this will vary of course depending upon the size of your NAS so in my case I've got a one terabyte so I'll select TB for terabyte custom size I'll enter one now mine says the image size was changed to 897.99 gigabytes because the volume selected can't hold a 1.02 terabyte image and that's to be expected because on my on my NAS, I actually have a couple of other folders created that I'm using for uh, saving some files. And I've got a little over 100 megs of files, so that makes sense. 897 gigabytes is okay with me, so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Your next step is Format. Uh, that should be Mac OS Extended Journal, and it is. Encryption is set to None. I'm not using encryption. Partitions. Single partition, Apple partition map, that's right. And then image format. This needs to be sparse bundle disk image. So select sparse bundle disk image and then hit create. Now depending upon the speed of your Mac, this may take a moment. But once it's done, you'll see this little disk utility progress thing disappear. And it's finished. I've got a dual monitor set up, so I had uh, on my desktop, I had this icon appear on my other monitor, and also this icon. Now, if you look in your, if you look back in your, in your thing now, you'll see where it says devices. I've still got my USB connected two terabyte drive, but now I also have a NAS Final Pro. So, that was created because this is here. So this is a very important step. Before you proceed, right click on that NAS Final Pro or whatever you named it that appeared on your desktop. Right click and eject it. Now you're going to notice over here in devices that's disappeared. The next step, the other file that was created on your desktop or wherever you saved it for that matter. This is a sparse bundle. You'll want to drag your sparse bundle to whatever folder on your NAS that you want to use for that storage space. So in my case, I created a folder on my NAS called 
called Final Cut Pro X Projects. So I'm going to drag this sparse bundle over there inside of that folder. And depending upon the speed of your network and your computer, this may take a while. Uh, as you can see, mine's zipping along quite nicely. I've got a, uh, I've got a gigabit wired in my home with gigabyte uh, uh, Ethernet, so it's considerably faster than 100 meg. So we're going to wait for this to finish. It's got less than a minute. And, and again, don't expect a NAS to be as fast as a USB 3.0, internal hard drive, Thunderbolt hard drive, etc. But it is a great and inexpensive way, if you've already got a NAS, to uh, utilize some of that storage space you have for archiving your, your movies, your pictures, whatever, documents, whatever you may want to archive. Just a great way to do it. So we're finished now. Uh, we got... It's copied over there, but there's one final step, and this is a very important step. The sparse bundle that you copied to your NAS folder, double click on it, left mouse click. And after you've done that, you notice that now under devices it says NAS Final Pro, which is what I named my, my uh, device for Final Cut Pro storage. So now what I can do, I can go into Final Cut Pro 10, any other Mac application, and I can see NAS Final Pro the same as I would a USB drive, an internal hard drive, a memory stick. So it's there and it's available. Sure, the read and write times are going to be slower because it's going across the network, but it's now accessible from all of my Mac OS 10 applications. And one thing I wanted to mention is that... Uh, I do run Mac OS X Mountain Line. I'm assuming this procedure will probably work with other OS X versions, but I know that it works with OS X Mountain Line because that's, uh, that's the uh, version of Mac OS X that I'm using. I hope you enjoy this video and I welcome any feedback that you may have. Uh, feel free to share this video with others. And if you have any questions, shoot me a comment. I'd, I'd love to hear it. Y'all have a good one and... Uh, yeah, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's youtube.com forward slash irixguy. Have a good day.